It's time for Myth of the Week. All right, so uh, I worked a little bit here uh, this week getting the Myth of the Week ready, and uh, I just found this picture on uh, Google Images, and I, we had a lot of excellent comments on this, um, and we get into a whole bunch of other myths that we might run once we do these kind of things like you know if a, a, a installation is painted in this manner is it only strictly for grounding you know man uh, it was just funny we had a lot of comments is that box even supported you know uh there, there's like so many comments like it, what's the box feel on that with that many conduit entries you know mm -hmm. uh usually we're taught like uh two in two out per four square deep so they might have went a little over, and and there could be some of those just chased through and don't actually splice in there. It could and be. Who knows? They all might. You know, you never know. And then it would have plenty of room, but that could come up as like a myth in the future. But basically, the myth was our painting electrical equipment uh, violation of the product listing. And um, one thing that I'll mention here is. In this case, I don't see any kind of a real violation here. You know that it was a, a complete and permanent installation prior to it getting painted. I don't see a problem with that. I would see a problem with like pre-painting stuff. And the, the thing that we run into a lot, and um, I know a lot of people that are in the fire alarm industry know that when you're there, the inspector's like, hey, figure out some way to paint that breaker. Well. You know, after you're painting a breaker, that's avoiding the listing. And and regardless if the the you know breaker is required to be listed or not, um, that's kind of an interesting argument to this too. You know, is that box required to be listed? It's a you know it's in a you know dry location. You know, um, or is that cover required to be listed? Probably not. You know, uh, the conduit's required to be listed, but if it's installed and it's made wrench tight um to david's point you know if it's installed in a um you know skillful and professional manner um when it's be prior to it being painted i don't see a issue with that at all um there just comes to be certain things and people said this in the comments i never would have thought about it they were talking about spray painting uh receptacles and they said oh yeah it doesn't hurt it it's fine and they work and it's everything's good and it's like but if you go look at it, it actually voids the listing of that equipment. So, I mean, if you're trying to do a pink Cadillac lounge and you can't find pink receptacles and you're don't care about the listing, then and you could pass inspection, then I don't I don't think it's a real world issue. So, I don't think it'll um, pass inspection. I think you get into where you got uh, a. Uh, uh, a little bit of a seating requirement when you start painting because that stuff it, it it's not made uh, you know they're a slicker surface and that paint starts coming off of there especially after you plugged into i've seen them do that before and i've seen uh inspectors say nah no nah, you're not gonna paint that we're not allowing that and that's why they make certain colored receptacles for certain type of installations but when you're getting into this type of uh, boxes, conduit, and fittings and stuff, you know, you were, we were talking about there or not, I said, you know, as far as that goes, I said, I, I don't see no problem with it because I see them do it on fire alarm circuits and, and mm -hmm. they'll paint everything red. I said, the only thing I would be careful with here is you do it after the fact. Because if you try to paint it beforehand, I think you start causing a problem with, like, if I'm going into that coupling right there, I'm going into that connector. All of a sudden, if you paint those threads, you're, you're messing with the mechanical ability of the conduit. And that becomes an integrity. And it's, it's interesting he, he does that because I did put this in the next one to talk about it. And, uh, you know, it, talks about the integrity of electrical equipment and connect connections but what when you get into that david what they're talking about is the internal parts okay and that that is internal inside the equipment that's why you don't see them painting anything inside panel boards 
and things like that or painting inside the, the box enclosure, it's usually always done after the fact. That way you're not messing with the mechanical ability of the, of the, the connector, the coupling, the conduit. And if you think about this, let's hypothetically say it this way. What if they decided to use that EMP as an equipment ground? If you painted outside of that beforehand, now you're hurting the, the uh, equipment grounding conductor capabilities of that conduit. That's why you do it after the fact, because you've made connection there metal to metal at that point. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, and, and that would be, uh, I would say, a 250.12 concern. Yeah. And there's things that you look at there, and I just say after the fact, I don't see a problem. But if you're painting everything, just everything beforehand, now I think you've you've broke the mechanical ability of the function of those parts. So therefore, I would say no problem after installation. If you paint everything before, I, if I was an inspector, I'd have a problem with that. Well, and this is another thing that I kind of want to bring up into the mist too, because I've had to do this before where I knew they were painting the whole ceiling white mm -hmm. and I couldn't get all the conduit installed. So I just go put 200 foot of conduit up in the ceiling and let them paint it. Mm -hmm. And, uh, but I'm pulling a full size equipment ground. So you're not using that. So you could kind of make the argument that it still could be, um, not like frowned upon a little bit because you never know if somebody pulls that equipment ground out and tries to use the raceway as the equipment sure, ground. That's why I'm saying but, that. But if you say you go eat somewhere and you go to a bar or something like that, and they've got an open ceiling area up above, you'll notice they paint everything up there black. Mm -hmm. I mean, you see even, that. Even the fire alarm cable. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> yeah. when, when you go and look at these areas and, and you'll notice that it always gets passed. So basically, just based on things that you look at that's out in the industry, you're seeing that the inspectors out there are not having a problem with this. The only problem I would have is if they painted everything beforehand, then I would, if I knew that, I'd say, hey, uh, we're not going to do that. Right. And, and that's the other thing too, is, um, I always say not to do that with like the fire alarm cable because you have to see the listings on it. You have to see the ratings on it. I mean, mm -hmm. there's so much stuff on that cable that you have to know, like if you're in a plenum space, you have to see that P designation on there. Uh, most of the places now, like a lot of places are getting away from the plenum ceilings, mm -hmm. but, uh, it's just something for everyone to kind of look at. I'm not, I'm not trying to call everyone uh, a hack that paints you know equipment but uh unless you're the painter that just accidentally painted my panel board you know like <laughs> one job but you know they they do that all the time they'll get overspray on stuff and you know Certainly it's did. it's uh really hard especially uh on fire alarm cable we've actually uh got some i might actually have to do a, a review on some paint wipes and I was really surprised how these paint wipes, they were, they were listed, uh, not listed, but they were just, they didn't damage the conduct, they didn't damage the cable and they actually did a really good job taking the paint off. So right. it was like non-toxic and all that stuff. So, you yeah. know, some of that stuff kind of helps and I didn't think it would, anything would get that paint off, but right. it did. So, 